And this year, we have also collaboration with a number of institutes. And uh, under this dynamic leadership, we are marching ahead. And I hope this collaboration will be very much useful uh, for the technologies as well as students of our university. And uh, without wasting much time, I am just, just introducing our research person, Dr. Bodana Medumi, who is a professor in the University of Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, Madam Medumi is a prolific research worker. Basically, she is a geologist, but she has contribution in different fields of environmental science. She has long teaching experience, having her graduate degree in the United Nineteen and a PhD degree in 2001 and a PhD in 2004 and she has a special teacher in foreign language skills, English, French and German. She is winner of a number of hours. And she has sought initial as assistant professor, associate professor, and full-time professor from the year 2020. She has a number of contributions and uh, uh, publications, a number of publications in a number of research journals. Could not take more time for me to tell up. And uh, she has also a number of contributions in very paper chapters, professional papers, and also she has offered two student textbooks. Her research in the first field, in the field of geology and other environmental science, will definitely be a source of inspiration for us our students. And today's uh, topic, that is solar environmental research and extensive digital opportunities. For the end of Croatian scholars, we will definitely open the way of the visit of these Croatian students to our state universities, as well as it will also open the way students visit our students to uh, the university of Japan. So, without uh, wasting more time, I welcome Madam Erich of First person today, Professor Rodana Brune, whom we are eagerly waiting to hear, to take the way for collaborative environmental research and exchange programs. Esteemed Chairperson City Council, Head of the Department, Environmental Science. Dr. Bhatni, their professors, and other students. And that was it, I thank Dr. Anil Kumar Mahapatra, who is acted with Madam Bhutan and invited her to be here. But we are fortunate, I am not saying that unfortunately, we are fortunate. Professor Gurana agreed to be online to guide us in this collaborative 
Research program. Thank you. Are you welcome, Dr. Kodaka? I would have been happy if he would have been here. But again, I should say that if you are hearing me, Professor Kodaka, he missed the Indian traditional welcome. He actually offered dear to our Lord. We offered flowers. This is a colorful program which you missed. So I expect that next time, whenever you are in India, please visit this place. So that will be having the opportunity to welcome you in a very traditional manner, which everybody enjoys. However, while welcoming you, I expect that this Pokemon University, which is a state university in Odisha, the eastern part of India, is eager to have a collaboration for creating opportunities for teachers and students to be part of exchange programs and to be part of research programs. Any collaboration is purposefully done to achieve something. And if we collaborate, we will definitely help both the institutions to grow together in research, particularly in environmental research. And therefore, we are here. The departments like environmental science, botany, uh, geology, geography, all these departments are here with whom this collaboration will go ahead and I'm happy that you agree to deliver this talk. I again thank you for your kindness to be with us and to guide us for this collaborative program. With these words, I expect that students and uh, research scholars, teachers, all will hear you to find out the way, how best the collaboration will be and how best we can achieve the purpose which will, which will be jointly designed. Thank you very much. Now, uh, it's uh, time to hear from uh, the today's resource person, Professor Kodana Mentoni, and over to you, man. I am ready, but I don't know how to share my presentation with you. Okay, we have received your presentation. Now we are sharing uh, with the, the audience, and uh, you can just uh, open your slides and keep on uh, presenting your slides. Sharing our screen. Can you see the slides? It is presented to the audience now. No, I don't see slides. Yes, it will take a bit to a few minutes. Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, namaste. Uh, thank you for this. Thank you for this invitation. Uh, so this is uh, about. I will tell you about how I came to India. So uh, my research for the last few years is a result of a research collaboration between uh, my department and uh, Indian institutions. And uh, with time, uh, we applied on Erasmus Exchange Visit Program and we got accepted. So uh, I'm in India thanks to this Erasmus Exchange Visit Program. Um, so this is a slide of my uh, country. So Croatia is a Central Europe, European country, you can see. And uh, it is uh, 60 times less than uh, India. And uh, only 3.8 million people live in uh, Croatia. So I come from University of Zagreb, Faculty of Science, Department of Geology. And uh, we have around 20 students uh, per year. So this, is, uh, this slide is uh, Zagreb, uh, central part. Uh, and uh, Croatia is very famous for beaches. And we have a few famous Croats uh, like Nikola Tesla, Andrija Mohorovicic, uh, Milutin Milanković. And we had uh, two Nobel Prize uh, laureates. So my work is on... Uh, uh, Russia call, which is a Croatian, a Croatian call. Uh, this Russia has nothing to do with Putin and the Russian Federation. Uh, it is a super high organic sulfur uh, call, which is very unique. It has uh, very high levels of sulfur, much higher than, for example, Indian call. Indian call is uh, up to 8%, but this call is up to 11%. Uh, percent. And the locality is uh, surrounded by seawater. Uh, so this is the uh, Russia coal mining uh, town. And uh, my research started in uh, May uh, 2013. Uh, so this is a locality in west part of Croatia. And there, we, uh, there was a coal-fired power plant which was pow powered on that uh, coal. And uh, SO2 emissions were very high. Um, and there are many uh, abandoned uh, coal and ash uh, deposits. So uh, nine years ago, I went there with two students and we, prior to uh, field work, we made uh, uh, on the map sketch uh, and we draw uh, circles, one kilometer, five kilometers and 10 kilometers around the uh, power plant. And uh, due to strong winds uh, which blow towards uh, southwest, we were suppo we suppose that the um, southwest part of the uh, uh, locality would be most polluted. And uh, you can see from this picture how soil from that southwest part of the locality is almost black due to uh, coal. We made uh, elemental analysis, cytotoxicity, genotoxicity, and the results show that the highest uh, levels of sulfur and uh, organic contaminants, uh, which are very characteristic for coal, are, most, uh, are highest uh, in the soil, which is closest to the um, uh, power plant. And going further away from coal-fired power, power plant, uh, those uh, levels decrease. So we found that cytotoxicity uh, was highest in the polluted soil and sulfur in soil uh, maximum level is 4%, which is very, very high. It is more than uh, some uh, coal. And uh, it took us three years to publish in uh, Science of Total Environment, which is one of the uh, leading uh, journals. Uh, and uh, thanks to collaboration with a few Indian uh, scientists, coal, coal and chemistry, uh, coal chemistry scientists, uh, mainly from um, Jorhat, uh, NAST, and uh, National Metallurgical Laboratory in Jamshedpur, uh, where are my two hosts for Erasmus. So I published uh, 
almost 20 papers in the last five years. Uh, I attended lots of uh, international conferences. Um, I have many uh, master thesis students, more than 30. And uh, uh, this is a picture from 2017 when I uh, came to India. I visited India for the first time in 2017 when I, uh, when I visited uh, Dr. Binoy Saikia from NAST in uh, Jorhat. This is me and these are uh, his students and uh, colleagues. Uh, but actually, I, uh, my real host was a professor from VHU, Banaras Hindu University in Varanasi. Uh, so I uh, uh, brought him uh, my soil samples, polluted soil samples, and uh, he uh, did some analytical work, uh, like he applied microorganisms on, uh, on my soil samples and those microorganisms uh, removed uh, potentially toxic trace elements out of soil. And uh, I spent several months uh, in BHU and that collaboration was not uh, under the auspices of Erasmus, but it was uh, a collaboration between Italy and India. Uh, uh, and it was inside of one uh, very big uh, European uh, project program, which is called Horizon. So I was, uh, I just got a mobility grant and it covered my travel ticket and uh, life expenses. So I spent a few, few months in 2017 and 2018 in India. I Spent some time in laboratory in Biege and some time, few, uh, the rest of the time I spent uh, in uh, sightseeing, so I uh, visited a few places. Uh, the main topic of my research, current research in uh, last two years, uh, is focused on selenium because that coal is very enriched in selenium which is a uh, quite interesting element uh, we need selenium it is uh, essential uh, nutritional element but uh, it can be toxic if the levels go up also uranium is increased in that coal vanadium and uh, selenium is very mobile in uh, such environment which is oxidative and uh, sea water is there, pH values are high and uh, the bedrock is karst, karstic uh, so uh, there are many cracks and uh, sea water goes in the underground coal uh, beds and the water is flushing those elements out of coal and uh, such water is contaminating uh, the local environment. And uh, we published um, a paper in uh, 2020 um, in International Journal of Cold Geology, which is, which is also a very um, high, imp high impact factor journal in Elsevier. And uh, this was a purely international group from different countries, uh, I am the only one from Croatia, so Australia, China, USA, um, uh, Portugal, and uh, uh, I got connected with uh, this group thanks to uh, Dr. Binoy Saikia from uh, NAST. Uh, the results were very interesting, so I was intervie interviewed by a Croatian uh, major TV news outlet uh, in uh, prime time, um, 6.30 p.m. So uh, they were very impressed with my research. And uh, I can say that uh, 
many uh, much of my scientific success I can uh, thank India, uh, my collaboration with uh, India, um, and I'm very grateful to Indian colleagues who helped me uh, because my uh, department is very poor in terms of analytical facilities. So I spent much of time the last few years uh, traveling um, for. Uh, I, I try to find collaborations. And here on this slide you can see how India is positioned. Uh, I did this uh, uh, three years ago. Maybe India is now also uh, higher or maybe sixth rank or something like that. And my country, Croatia, is uh, something like 50 uh, so we are not that good in science like India. Uh, India is uh, spending lots of money on scientific and technical uh, journal articles and uh, investments. Indian in Indian government puts uh, more money into science than the whole European Union. And spending per researcher are very good in India. So it is uh, success is uh, greatly thanks to collaborations. And here you can see these are my Erasmus uh, hosts, Dr. Dina Saikia from uh, Jorhat, NAST, and Dr. Sanchita Chakravarti from National Metallurgical Laboratory in Jorhat. Uh, they will um, visit me next year, uh, April 2023, 20, uh, and uh, our uh, project will end in May 31 next year. So uh, these are researchers in USA, color researchers, uh, best color researchers in USA and China. And I got in contact with them thanks to uh, Dr. Seikia. And I'm currently co-supervising a PhD student from China with uh, this uh, scientist. So uh, much of my recent success is a result of uh, my collaboration with India. And... Uh, so this Erasmus is uh, uh, this Erasmus started 30 years ago. Uh, it is funded by European Union, by European Commission. Uh, European Union has uh, uh, big funds, and uh, part of the money goes to Erasmus. And uh, this Erasmus has uh, sponsored. To, uh, see, um, in these 30 years, 9 million scholars, partly uh, teaching staff, like professors, and partly students. So students can travel uh, around the world, either to Europe or from Europe to uh, outside, uh, outside countries. And a little bit about my host. So the, Dr. Bino Isaikia is uh, working on nano diamonds. So he sent me uh, nano diamonds uh, two years ago. Uh, he produced nano, di nano diamonds from uh, Indian coal uh, from Assam and Meghalaya. That coal is very low uh, quality, but it is perfect for uh, making nano diamonds, and uh, those nano diamonds are the cutting edge of technology. And uh, this this is a part of uh, nano science, nano technology, which is very hot topic. And uh, with Dr. Sanchita Chakravarti from NML, I published a joint paper in Springer Journal two months ago. 
uh, on uh, soil, uh, <coughs> which is very polluted thank, uh, due to, uh, as a result of uh, coal. And uh, so that was a uh, very, very fruitful uh, collaboration. And I'm, I have been trying to extend uh, this Erasmus, uh, hopefully for students. And uh, I'm in contact with the Indian Embassy in Croatia. And uh, I'm doing my best I'm doing my best to make my connections with, uh, with India as strong as possible. Danyavad. I hope uh, you enjoyed. <laughs> If you, if you have some questions, uh, I, will, I will gladly respond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. 
Now, metals can be grown in these limited areas. I just want to know whether any such type of stories have been converted in your university. And I just want to know. Sorry, I can you speak okay. slow? Can you speak slow? Because I don't understand what you asked me. Madam, I just want to know whether any stories going on. So, I know that the story that means the uh, I, uh, the problem is the problem is that I don't uh, I have a problem with English. So when I talk with the people in English. I have, a di I have a difficulty to understand. So I suggest that uh, you send me quick questions by email, you know, by email. So I will have to go because... Uh, my mob mobile phone is uh, very hot. I'm uh, outside. It is very hot. Because I'm in a hostel, so... Welcome. Thank you, ma'am, for uh, presenting your slides today, and uh, it's uh, up by you. I will share the entire details of uh, yours with our students and faculty members so that uh, they can get in touch with you. They can ask whatever they want to uh, uh, ask, and they can, uh, can go for future opportunities to see whether we can have any collaborative uh, research with you mm -hmm. and your yeah. Okay, yeah. now it is time. I will take this opportunity to thank our uh, today's speaker, Professor uh, Bodana Mehmi, for uh, uh, giving her time and time to deliver this talk. And we are really fortunate enough to listen from you. And our students and uh, teachers, they are in equally motivated with your talk uh, to carry out the collaborative research. And uh, now I would uh, like to thank our vice chancellor for providing this uh, platform and encouraging us to have such a uh, extraordinary talk from the country and uh, uh, beyond our country also. And I also thank our chairman for providing us support. And I thank uh, Professor Anit Mahathru, who has been vital in getting in contact with you and uh, making this. Uh, uh, webinar possible and uh, I also thank uh, the HOD Environmental Science for providing all this uh, arrangement and uh, making all this webinar possible and I also thank all, all the faculty members of various uh, departments including uh, of botany, geology, geography, geology, chemistry, who are bioscience and biotechnology who have attended this content and uh, attended this webinar. So, at the end, I also thank all the students and research fellows of the university who have, uh, uh, who have come here and listened uh, from uh, Professor Medley. And now, I uh, thank, uh, at the end, I thank one and all. Thank you.